G'day, mates. <laughs> Old mate Nico isolating at home at the moment. I've just been and had a COVID test. One of those drive through ones where you line up and it takes about four hours. And then when they get to you, they grab that probe and jam it up into your hypothalamus and wiggle it around. Feels like they're tickling the inside of your brain. But nah, hopefully it comes back all right. But just the last couple of days, I've been feeling pretty average. Got a lot of stuff going on up here. Having a hard time sleeping, some headaches. So I thought I'd just go and check myself out, but hopefully all is okay. So I'm just self-isolating. Now, Emma on our Facebook group. Hello, Emma. <laughs> She's a Victorian just like me, and she was kind enough to send through her ResMed S9 auto set machine. Now, I had noticed that some of the ResMed communication coming out always mentioned just the AirSense 10 machine. They never kind of said, well, all our machines are fine. So I just thought I'd grab one just to have a little sticky beak. And uh, here's what I found. Let's go inside and let's have a look at it. All right, come inside, guys. I'll just give you a little bit of a, a look-see at Nico's home office. So this is my little bench here where I do most of my editing on the little computer there. And then over here is where I do some of my recording. I used to do it with a with a green screen, so I could change the background. But now I just I just do it here with a little light. And this is my little bench, and then I have my my little esky there in case I need a cold beer. And that's and that's it, guys. So, but anyway, let's have a look. So this is the ResMed S9 machine, the model before the AirSense 10, and it's a bit of a prick to tear down. I'll tell you that much. It's a lot easier to tear down the more modern machines. But I managed, and I'll just give you a bit of a look around. So this is sort of your casing. This is where your turbine sits in there. That's your outer shell. This is where, this is the bottom shell. This is the, the foam. It's really big, thick pieces of foam. From what I can gather, it looks and feels like the same foam they've used in the AirSense 10 machine, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but... It looks the same, it feels the same. Um, and then it's just your PCB board, field cover. Now, this is what I really wanted to show you here. Check this out, so when I took apart, I'll just hold it up nice and close so you can see. Can you see that? There you go, you can see it now. Have a look inside the turbine of the S9. Have a look at the gunk inside of the turbine, it is just filled with gunk. And this is why I was saying earlier that ResMed either, they need to come up with a better filtration system. Now this is a hypo filter, so it's a better filter than the standard filter. Actually, that's not even a hypo filter. I don't know what that is. That's like a bunch of like, <laughs> Emma's got like a bunch of five filters, does she? That's one way to sort it out, Emma. Good on ya. I don't know what effect that's gonna have, but <laughs> look at that. That's great, I hadn't seen that. Fantastic, well, whatever she was doing, it wasn't stopping all this gunk getting in. So ResMed needs to either fix up the filtration systems on their device, or they need to enable customers to buy these. 50 bucks, that's all it would cost. 50 bucks, let us buy new turbines so that we can get nice, clean turbines because this here, there is no way to get into this turbine really and clean that out. I'm gonna bust it open with a with an ax now. I'm just gonna get my ax and just bust the whole thing open so we can pull it apart and have a look. But it is just chock-a-block full of crap. And I wouldn't wanna be, I wouldn't want that pumping air into my lungs. I can tell you that much, night after night. Looks like rubbish. All right, so let's have a look here. Look at that. Look at that. That is just disgusting. <laughs> Stupid. What do I say all the time? What's the number one killer of CPAP machines? Dust. Now this is, I don't know if, I think it's just dust, but I mean, it's a, it's a real dark sort of chalky, um, Look, look inside the poor turbine. It is just 
Look inside the fan. See all that inside the fan? This is why they this is why they break down guys. You can just see here. Just they get noisy because you get so much of this stuff inside them and then they just get noisy. So it still turns, but anyway, it's just it's not hygienic, is it? When you think about it, it's just not hygienic. So they need to do something about that, I think. Look at it all. It's all just coated. You can see every fan. Thanks for watching, guys. Just before I go, I want to remind you that if you are using a ResMed machine, an S9, an AirSense 10, AirSense 11, whatever it is, make sure you use the hypoallergenic filters, the ultra fine ones. Those standard filters are rubbish. Uh, they're gonna let a whole lot of dust and debris into your machine and also into your lungs. So make sure you use the hypo ones. They're gonna catch a whole lot more dust and they're also gonna help with allergies and other stuff as well. So hypoallergenic filters all the way. And also, I know ResMed will be watching. I think they need to tidy up their game with their filtration systems. And also look at letting us replace those turbines. That S9 turbine is the same as that used in the AirSense 10 as well. And a big thanks to Emma and to all the people on the YouTube and also on our private Facebook group. And just a reminder as well that the AirSense 11 giveaway is finishing up tomorrow. Chances of winning are like one in 400, so make sure you head across that page, say hello to everyone, and join that great community. I'm gonna go rest up, guys. I am feeling like shit. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.